Welcome back to Live in the D Plus, everyone. Well, as you know, it's so close to the holidays. And today, we want to talk about a highly anticipated movie that will be released in about a week and a half, about 10 days from now, just in time for the holidays. And we're going to talk with one of the actors on the project. But first, take a look at the trailer of Mufasa, The Lion King, which tells the story of the Lion King before he became a king. It's time I tell you a story. A story! So glad I brought some crickets. Rafiki, keep going. The story about a prince who would come to be known as Scar and an orphan named Mufasa. Two brothers who set off on a dangerous journey to find a new home and a new family. Why are you following us? I was hoping to find my pride. My name is Mufasa. I'm Sarabi. My name is Taka. He's going to start a new kingdom. Come with us. You don't have anyone. She does indeed have someone. That's Sazu, my scout. Don't eat him. You heard her. Do not eat me. Places to go, kingdoms to see. Finally, food. If you take my life, you will never find where you are going. Parker, do not eat him. Wonderful. Another we're not supposed to eat. You expect us to follow this hallucinating baboon? <laughs> no offense. We go together. How could you not be excited looking at that trailer? It's absolutely phenomenal. And joining us now is Braylon Rankins, who plays the voice of a young Mufasa. Thank you for joining us on Live in the D+. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, gosh, we're excited to have you. Now, something else exciting was the movie premiere that was last night. Now, after all the work that went into making this movie, what was it like to finally be on the red carpet of the premiere? Oh my goodness, it was so exciting. The energy in there was amazing. I've been working for, on Mufasa for about four years now so to finally be on the red carpet and be with the cast it was amazing it was a dream come true yeah i can only imagine now this is a huge role what did you think when you were originally tapped for it i mean what was your reaction honestly i was a bit shocked the audition process was shorter than i expected it to be but i've loved lion king for such a long time um, i remember in second grade i did a lion king play for my school actually so it all just felt so full circle to me and me and my family were we were all very excited oh that's so i'm so excited for you now speaking of your family you come from a family of entertainers so was this a natural business for you to just be a part of or does it simply run in the family yes i've wanted to act for a long time uh, my entire family is in the industry and my parents um they have their own media company actually so when i was about four or five i used to just be on set with them me and my siblings and i kind of you know started learning the set terminology and everything about the business so it just felt like a natural path for me yeah so it definitely is the, the family business you grew up in it so it's kind of like second nature to you but it is not an easy business right no. so it's very challenging so how important is it for you to have your family support that's got to just give you a big boost when you're out there tackling a project with this kind of you know heaviness to it yeah it does it means so much to me um my entire family came with me to the premiere and my first time seeing it was with them so we all had you know shared our reactions to it and we all saw everything for the first time together so that was really special and i know it'll be a core memory for me yeah most definitely so talk to us about your role in mufasa the lion king particularly because you also sing for this role I do. So I play young Mufasa and I thought that was, you know, a really exciting role to step into because when we're introduced to Mufasa, we see him, you know, as a king. So seeing how he got to that point and seeing his origin, um, I thought it was really interesting to see him from a different perspective and singing. Yes, I'm very excited for the song. That's my favorite part of the movie. So I'm really excited for audiences to hear it. So what can people expect from the film? Is it going to be kind I, of like, you know, give you feelings of nostalgia of the original? What can people expect? I would definitely say it's nostalgic. You know, all of the music is like kind of like a callback to the original as well as some of the scenes. And there's definitely some Easter eggs in there if you pay attention. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think it's a great you know, movie for the holidays and a great movie for families to see. Yeah, December 20th release is absolutely perfect for all of us who are always looking for something to do around the holidays. Let's go to the movies. That's just like the default. It's perfect. And this is one of those family yeah. friendly things that you can take everyone. You can take grandma, you could take your parents, you could, you know, take kids. Um, but yeah. let's talk about this. How long was the process of recording voiceovers for the movies? And were there any memorable behind the scenes moments, something that really stands out? 
Ooh, so the recording process, I started around 2021 when I was 14 and I finished around 2022. So it took about, you know, a year of filming and my voice is constantly changing throughout the filming process. So it took a lot of adjusting, but, um, you know, working with Barry, our director and, and working with Lynn Mayo Miranda, they all helped me feel really comfortable and experiment with my voice kind of to get it where I needed to be. And yeah, this is the longest project that I've ever been attached to. So I'm so glad to finally see it come to life. What did you think when you saw it? You finally, all the pieces come together. You're sitting there at the premiere with your family. What did you think? It was crazy to me when I was recording in the booth um, all we had was, you know, storyboard drawings because when I would be doing my lines, I would try to match it up to the 2D drawings. So seeing how realistic it looks now and seeing all the great animation that's been done and all of our voices being matched up to it, um, it's just crazy. It's kind of surreal. Yeah. Now, what else could possibly be surreal is that you worked with some really well-known heavy hitters like Donald Glover, Seth Rogen, of course, Beyonce and her daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. Describe what it means to you to be in this class of actors. Oh, my goodness. It means so much. I feel like everyone is so talented. Um, getting to see everyone again at the premiere last night, um, it was like a great reunion. And um yeah, I just I just really enjoy working with everyone. Yeah. So what's next for you, Braylon? I'm getting like mini mogul vibes from you. Like, what's oh, I, I feel you. like you're going to be producing <laughs> next and directing and so much more. What what do you have um, in the pipeline? Well, thank you. I do hope to, you know, create some of my own projects soon. And right now you can catch me and my family's podcast where we talk about the business on all streaming platforms. And yeah, I would just say stay tuned to see what's next. Yeah, I can only imagine. I expect great things from you. That's just the vibe I get. But let everyone know how they can follow you on social media and keep up with your journey and how they can listen to the podcast. So you can follow me on social media on Instagram. It's B-R-A-E-N-B-R-I-E. I share an account with my sister. And then you can find the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music. And I'm pretty sure it's coming to YouTube pretty soon. Yeah, give us the title of the podcast one more time. The podcast is Life with the Rankins. Life with the Rankins. I love it. I love the family vibe. I love that you guys are all working together. And that just makes such a big difference um, when you're out in, in a, frankly, a very tough business. So I love that for you. But thank you so thank you. much for joining us on Live in the D Plus. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime.